Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This is Tool Review Tuesday where I review tools and tell you what I think about them. Are they good? Are they bad? Should you have them? Should you not have them? Well today I'm going to be reviewing this drill by Hoto or Hutu. I don't know exactly how to say their name. They reached out to me and said would I be interested in reviewing this and I said sure why not? So they sent it to me for free, just as a disclaimer. They're not paying me to say anything good or bad about it. They just wanted me to review it. And I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about it. And I'm gonna talk about the things that I love about it, the things that I think it, are, it is really good for, the things it's not so good at, and how does it fit in your overall tool collection or drill collection. If that's something you're interested in learning, stick around because we're gonna dive into this tool on this episode. So right off, you can tell that the packaging on this is just awesome. It's really nice, it's high quality, it feels great. Good job on the presentation of the product in the packaging. The Velcro straps were a nice touch. I wish they actually came out and were able to hold everything together, but that's okay. Here's the USB charging cord. I love the assortment of drill bits that they give you. There's a whole bunch here, some that I've never even used or seen before, uh, but yeah, that's kind of nice, love that. They also give you a lot of really great drilling drill bits. Uh, they give you four of each type. One would, I, the black are considered the standard drill bits. And then the silver ones are what I use for woodworking, uh, for boring out things. They have a really nice pointy tip on them. These are really great. And lastly, they give you a tiny little manual. Be sure not to miss it when you're unpacking your drill. All right, so here's the drill. It's, it feels really good actually in my hand. Uh, it has your typical switches, uh, forward, or that would be reverse, that would be forward. It has a little switch here. This is for drilling screws, and this is for actually drilling. So it has two different modes. Uh, the other thing about it is it has this little indicator. You kick this on, and it has one through 30, and that's how fast it's like, it's, it's basically the speed at which this moves, and it's also the chuck. But you can slowly pull the trigger, and it goes slow and then you can pull it and it goes faster. Again, that's on one, we'll speed it all the way up and go to 30 and I'll do the same thing real slow and then fast. It has a thing in here called pulse mode and so what that does, just listen. It's basically uh, bursting um, the motor. So it's it, boom, 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 but that's kind of what it's doing. Um, so you can just take it off of that. They recommend that this is uh, good for um, softwoods, uh, things like that. It is not good for drilling in concrete, um, but we're gonna give it a test and we're gonna drill it, some drill holes and then some screws. So we're gonna test it out. All right, so we're setting it to 15, standard, and we're just gonna drill straight in. Okay, now we're gonna set to pulse. It's a little slower. Okay, now we're gonna take it off this and we're gonna go all the way up to 30.
All right, and that was all on screw mode. So let's change this down. What happens when we put it down to say five? And it stopped once it felt the pressure and this blinked. So when it hit five and I did this, you can't see it on here, but it'll blink and it'll stop. And it stopped pretty much flush once it got that um, torque on there. All right, we're set to one. And it stops and you can see it's blinking right there once it hit it and that is set. So here's a drill size comparison. This is my standard DeWalt drill that I use for everything. And this is the Hoto drill. All right, so I did a few tests. I drilled a few holes in some things and I put some screws in and I really just want to give you my first impressions of this and those little simple tests. Now, the first thing that I just want to point out is this thing, look at it. It's beautiful. The packaging was excellent. It reminds me of an app. If Apple had to make a drill, this is the type of drill that they would make. Now, what I would have to say that I, I found a little interesting about it is going between drill mode and screw mode. There's a little switch right here and it's yellow and yellow for the same thing. So if when you're just looking at this, oh, am I in drill mode or am I in screw mode? That's really hard to tell and it's important because that affects what torque setting you have. So if you're on a uh, screw mode, the torque works. If you're not, the drill mode will just, it just drills, there's no torque set. It's just the speed at which you're drilling. Now, I wish they would change this to indicate what color indicates, you know, drill mode versus screw mode. Um, but other than that, um, the other big thing that bothers me about this is this menu. Now, I'm in drill, like I, it's on to drill forward, and I'm trying to touch this, like nothing comes on. You actually have to pull the trigger to get the menu on, and that's really kind of annoying. Like on my drills, if I wanna adjust the torque or anything like that, I can just do it without even having to power on anything. I can just do it right away. So the fact you have to pull the trigger to adjust your speed and your torque is a little odd. I don't know why they did just add a little button to turn the menu on to access that. Um, the other thing is, I, I think the design is good, but I'm, I'm used to more of a tapered end when I'm trying to set my torque so I can pull, hold my chuck. It feels a little odd because of this ridge. It looks good in a design, but your hand, it feels a little odd, like I'm gonna slip or I'm not gonna catch it correctly. Um, but again, that's just being nitpicky and I'm just giving you my honest opinions on that. Now, let me tell you what I think this drill is good for. I think this is a great house drill. If you're drilling holes in your drywall or in soft materials and you're wanting to hang pictures or you need to put some holes in some things or put Ikea furniture together or you need to screw some things into your house somewhere, this is a great drill to have. There are no complaints that I have to it. However, I would not recommend this for a wood shop. It doesn't have the power, even though it is a powerful drill, it doesn't have the power that you need for a wood shop. I, you need full on power and this, I just, it just doesn't have it. And I was drilling into pine and I was using the fastest speed and it just, it wasn't fast enough for me. And I, I use my DeWalt drill and that thing is, it'll just shoot a drill through it super fast. It has two modes, one and two. If you go two, it shreds it. Um, I'm not gonna do a comparison. That's not what this video is about, but I just want to tell you, this is not a, a garage wood shop drill. Um, the other thing is I would be very afraid to drop this in my garage. I'm not going to do a drop test. Uh, just kidding. Um, it's too nice to actually test that. Um, although I'm very tempted to, I've dropped my DeWalt drill hundreds of times and that thing still works, but that's DeWalt's brand. They're about DeWalt tough. You could throw that thing and it would still work. If I threw this, is it really going to work? I don't think so. It might work. I guarantee you this, this plastic is going to break. Um, maybe, maybe not. I'm very curious. If you want me to test that, 
post in the comments below. Philip, we want to see a drop test. And I'll, I'll probably do it for you guys um, in some YouTube short. So if you're interested, please let me know. Um, but other than that, like, yeah, this would make a great gift for somebody. Like, if my wife said, hey, Philip, I got you a drill for Christmas, I'd be like, ooh, what'd you get me? And she gave me this, or for Father's Day, or my birthday, I would be like, yeah, I like that. It's, it reminds me of like an Apple product for tools. If Apple had to design one, this is probably what it would look like, maybe. Um, but anyway, I, I really do like it. I think it's great. Um, I, I would love to get these or get their whole product line as a gift, I would be happy. I think they have a use, um, but just not in a woodworking shop. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any comments or questions, you know what to do, post below. And if you don't wanna miss the next Tool Review Tuesday, consider subscribing. Till next time, I'll see you later.